In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at Hannon exercise number nine. Exercise number nine is actually a very easy one. It is just the extension of the fourth and fifth finger and a general finger exercise. So just focus on the sequence and extending your fingers, focus on your hand posture, keeping your wrist at the same level, play with a high and relaxed wrist and hand movement. All right. Let's have a look at the right hand first. I'm going to work in one octave, but remember when you practice Hannon, you have to practice two octaves, starting low, going up all the way to two octaves, descending back. I'm going to just work with one octave to make things easier on the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start right hand first. We're going to have, again, the skip for the right hand. One, two, three, two, four, three, five, four. Next note, one, two, three, two, four, three, five, four, and so on. Three, two, four, three, five, two, one, two, three, four, and so on. For two octaves. The left hand sequence, starting with our fifth, one octave below. Our right hand, we're going to start five, extending the fourth finger. Extending the fourth finger, but not stretching it like that. Extending it with a high wrist, with a nice high and um, parallel wrist to the keys. Five, four, three, four, two, three, one, two. Five, four, three, four, two, three, one, two. Five, four, three, four, two, three, one, two, and so on. Let's do it ascending both hands together. Top on B, we're going to end there on F like so. Going into descending, right hand first, starting with our pinky on G, we invert now. So we're going to have five stretching, extending the four finger, four, three, four, two, three, one, two, five, four, three, four, two, three, one, two, five, four, three, four, two, three, one, two, and so on. The left hand, starting on G, stretching between the first and second finger to skip that note. One, two, three, two, four, three, five, four. One, two, three, two, four, three, five, four. One, two, three, two, four, three, five, four, and so on. Putting your hands together, we're descending. on the A, we're going to repeat the last two notes, D and E, and end on both C's. That's very important. Pay close attention to detail. Don't just play anything there, you will get confused. We tend to focus on the sequence, the, the movements, and the fingers. Um, so remember when you get to descending at the bottom to do the repeat of the D and E. I'm going to do it one in one fluent motion, ascending, descending, but one octave only, but remember to practice it two octaves when you play. If you found this video helpful, please remember to subscribe and check out any other hand and exercises. Exercises number one to eight. Do those first before you attempt number nine. And thank you for watching.